Hello, Seb here from Timely with a quick coffee video for you. So today this is going to be part of our coffee tip series and we're going to be covering the pour over method. So the tip that I've got for you today will work on the V60 like I've got here, but it'll also work on the Kalitas, it'll work on any other dripper similar to that. So this is going to be something called the Rao Spin. This was something that was popularized by Scott Rao. Uh, I'm not sure whether or not he actually invented it, but this is something that I do for my own pour over and something that I find really handy because it means that I don't have to use any other implements other than what I've got right here. So what I've got so far is my brewing device with the paper in it and I've rinsed that already with some hot water and I've got my vessel. So then I've got my ground coffee here, which I'll put in like this. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my scales to zero and when I start pouring, I'm going to hit my timer and start this. So I've just got, like I said, my V60. I've got a pretty standard kettle. So this is all things that you can pretty easily get your hands on. So if I start hiss and then I start pouring at the same time, I'm going to pour in just about twice as much water as I've got in ground coffee. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give this a little spin pick up the vessel and give it a spin like this. So the idea is that I want to try and get the water over all of the grounds. So another way you can do this is just to get a spoon and give it a stir. But like I said, this is a really good way to make sure I don't need to actually have, a, have to have a, a spoon handy. So after 30 seconds have passed, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour the rest of the water that I want to use on everything. So here, I just try and make sure that I get throughout the entire bed, try and make sure that I cover pretty much everything as well as I can. But the idea is that I just want to get to that number that I'm looking for, which is 250 grams of water. And then once I've done that, what I'll do is I'll actually pick it up and I'll give it another spin. So the idea is that by giving it a spin, you're going to be getting all of the grounds from around the outside of the, the, the paper filter. And you're actually going to be pushing that into the liquid itself. It means that we're going to have a really consistent brewing experience in here. So that means that everything is going to be saturated all at the same time. And then at the end, we should end up with a bed that is pretty much flat, which means that we've kind of extracted everything evenly. This is what we really want. We want to make our coffee brewing as easy as possible while actually making sure that everything is as consistent and even as possible. So now all I need to do is just wait for this to pour out and then I can taste it. From here, I can change the grind size if I need to or kind of how much coffee to water I'm using. But this recipe with 15 grams of ground coffee uh, I put 30 grams of water in in my first pour and then after 30 seconds I put the rest of the water in so I reach 250 grams in total and then I give it a spin and we're pretty much good to go. That is a really standard, really easy coffee brewing method for you and it takes two seconds to set up, takes just a couple of minutes to execute, no extra tools, all you need is coffee, a kettle and a brewing device and you're good to go. That's all I got for you today, thanks very much.